Hello everyone, I'm Illinois Fire Alarms, and today I have something new. This is a small fire alarm demo board that I built these past few weeks. A recent trip to Home Depot gave me the motivation to do the one thing that every enthusiast has done, basically, and that is make a demo board of some sort. So you'll see, I have three notification appliance spots and two pull station spots. As far as smoke detectors go, I don't believe I'll be adding any, just because they're kind of difficult to have working with these without a panel. And as far as the panel goes, you'll notice that there is not a panel on this board, mainly because I believe this board would be too small to have a panel on it, and I do not have a panel yet. But sometime in the future, when I do get a panel, I'm probably going to build an even bigger board than this one, but I'll probably still keep this one around just for a general purpose. So on the board, I have kind of a older 90s, 80s simplex system up, and for the devices that I have, I have the Simplex 2903-9002 with a 2901-9038, which you can actually see right there. And yes, this is on a 4x4 back box, which is not really the way you're supposed to mount these, but I do not have a 2903 back box yet. You can see wires going in there, but it works for now. I have a Faraday 5508 single gang remote strobe. And with this board, you can see I, what I did is I had two 4x4s and then I put a single gang here just for single gang strobes like this one here. It can also, some devices can do single gang and 4x4 double gang. So this one is strictly single gang. And it is a 15 candela strobe, I believe. And right here I have a Simplex 4903-9215. This is a electromechanical and it is 30 candela. And for the pull stations, I have a Simplex 4251-20 and a Simplex 2099-9754. I'll go ahead and show you some little extra things on the board. You can see there are two wires going into it right here. This is the power input. It comes from a 24 volt DC power supply, which is right here. You can see that it is on, it's plugged into the wall. Now I'll go ahead and try to show you the wiring on the back of this board without it falling. So. You can kind of see right there all the wiring. Trying to make it as neat as possible. Uh, I'm pretty proud of how I did it. It's not too messy. Uh, and it's basically held together just with wire nuts and wire holders, so it's not a huge mess. But I'd say it's it's decent overall. I'm definitely probably going to improve it. I can say I did improve it somewhat. It definitely did not look like this at first. These wires here were actually held by wire nuts at first. And now I have a terminal block there, so. That's basically all there is for the board. So let's go ahead and get to testing the devices now. So obviously I just have the two pull stations here. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my keys here. Little key ring with all my keys. We'll pull the 4251 first. And of course, I do not have a sync module on, which I plan on getting one soon for this, but at the current moment, they're just gonna be on continuous. And they sound basically the same, so they're kind of hard to differentiate, but here we go. Three, two, one. And I will shut the lights off here after um, I pull the other T-bar, the 2099, to show you the 2903 better since it's kind of hard to see a little bit but that's definitely very loud and it vibrates the pull board a lot of course because they are mechanical horns so now i'll go ahead and key activate it for fun it's my poor attempt at a march time anyways let's go ahead and pull the 2099 now Try to simulate code here real quick. So there you go. And that's basically it. Uh, it's pretty simple. 
that's kind of the point I was going for, just a simple little demo board. So I'm pretty proud of how it turned out and expect more from the future. I'll be making different setups and such on this. I've already done several with it already, but have not bothered to film them. So yeah, expect more and I'll see you next time.